Hey guys, welcome back to John Rule 16. I am your host Giovanna, and today we're about another special video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get Spyro the Reignited Trilogy running on low-end hardware. Now, to help me with the test today, we'll be using the i7-4790, which isn't low-end, plus the Intel HD 4600. That's where we're going with this. The Intel HD 4600 is low-end by low-end standards, really and truthfully. And we're going to see today if we can get this game to somewhat, you know play over 30 fps we have the game locked at 720p and we're going to do some things we're going to keep it at 720p and we're going to do some things to get it to run over 30 fps even at that 720p mark now i just did a video on the intel sd4600 showing what resolution can hit 30 so if you don't need if you don't have anything much weaker than the 4600 you can just check out that video and that's that but if you have something way way more low end this video is for you but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this don't get please leave a like comment share subscribe and stick around for more epic content let's get into first looking for some clean five files but first let's play around with some spyro first at 720p so when you need to see 4600 720p low it is somehow managing to hold over 20 it's getting around 20 fps but it mainly seems to be 18 fps on average but it is somehow managing to get the job done now this is run on the unreal engine 4 which means this is really tweakable we're gonna do some tweaks to get this game playing that you know it's gonna probably look like crap in the end but and I'm probably gonna reduce the resolution scaling but we're gonna get over 30 FPS in this little bracket stick around we're going into the config file next so first of all we're gonna to need to locate the Spyro Reunited Trilogy um, config file we're simply gonna go into our local disk C users whatever you have your name is here as app data local and under Falcon you'll find the saved file we're gonna click on that config Windows no editor and here we're gonna look into the engine file for the settings no we're not gonna go into game user settings everything here is fine we're actually gonna tweak the engine file with these presets that I've already placed into the game now yes I will leave a link in the description below for this engine file that you'll simply need to copy and paste into your engine folder for this type of performance but here we turn the screen resolution down to 50% of 720p we basically disable a bunch of features and make the game you know we disable some shadows make the game look a little worse just to get better performance out of it as you can see foliage is zero so everything is going to be very flat views this is going to be a difficult to see anything far out but yeah, it's gonna get the job done. Let's get back into Spyro and see what happened. And finally we're back. So here we are back with Spyro once again. We're still running at 720p on the lowest preset, but with the engine file I just placed in. And as you can see, there is one hell of a performance increase. Graphically too, the game looks terrible, but still, performance increase so we went from getting 18 to 22 fps to 36 to 40 fps on average that is insane and that's the most that that's basically the most demanding area right there where the game really you know it shows you a, a wide variety of the world when you go around here it's going to be 40 fps for most of the time so here we go we've managed to make spyro reignited trilogy run on lower end hardware now you don't need to use every single file i just used but if you have something much lower end you definitely will need to uh, use it based on how much based on what specs you have if you have something just slightly lower than the intel hd 4600 you don't need to carry the scaling all the way down to 50 percent doesn't need to go all that way down but But this is how you get Spyro Reignited Trilogy running on integrated graphics if you really need the extra frames. I mean this game will hit 60 FPS at times depending on areas now. And this is at 720p. If I lower the resolution to 960 by 440 I may be able to get 60 FPS on average. Keep your horns on Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks. He's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Just keep that in mind. We are still running at 720p. So anything lower will only boost you even more. So if I can get over 40 FPS at 720p on the Intel 4600, you're good, dude. Anything lower end, you are great. 
But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more great content. I didn't want to go too in, de in depth into this one with all the settings because you're going to need them to really boost up the FPS if you want to really play this. If you have something lower in the ATC 4600, if you don't, I don't really see a need for it. But hey. It might not necessarily be needed, is what I'm trying to say, man. Because in some areas like this, look, we're going to get over 60 FPS with ease now in some areas. It won't even be a question anymore. Look at that, 70 FPS on integrated graphics. Why'd you come in here? You came the wrong place, bubs. Look at this dude, 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 look at this dude. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. The game performs, guys. Hey, Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh. Beautiful man, beautiful. I wouldn't recommend going any lower than this. I feel like this is enough and we have taken quite quite a bit of a graphical downgrade here. But it still don't it still looks better than the PS1 versus though, don't it? Up spiral goes. I kinda fell there. That was that wasn't my intention. But that's it for the video guys, just wanted to show you guys how it ran once again, and I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys next time. Or maybe, actually I just had a good idea, let's drop it down to the 960 by 540 just to show you. I thought this would be perfect just to drop it down to 960 by 540 now and as you can see we're coming much closer to 60 FPS in this area here was getting 40 FPS on average with the 960 by 540 now we're hitting 60 and this is a very intense area which means every other area is going to be over 60 FPS now you see these are the this this area when you're looking everywhere is the most intense area everywhere else is going to be amazingly going to perform amazingly well so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that one more time in case you just really wanted to see that as well. But I'll see you guys next time. Spyro, we're running on integrated graphics.